Hi everybody. I think you all are familiar with the database. We have users. We have privileges. I've added something called privilege group which will help us keep the arrays which are there in the JSPs to be smaller by dividing them up. We have roles. Roles are something which we can create at any time outside of the application. We have users mapping into roles. So user ID and role ID. And finally we have our privilege to role mapping which is here role ID to privilege ID so this linking can be seen in our web service.jsp which is for debugging you can see all the privileges you can see the privileges which have group 1 group 2 you can see how you can test for one particular privilege whether this current user who is admin whether he has this access yes it does I'm going to quickly log out and log in as a patient if I refresh this you can see that the patient has very few privileges and he does not have this privilege for example this is a small report we've made if you see the address this is coming from MOH report web whereas everything else is coming from the root so this is a demonstration of putting one more war file into your existing war file into existing application if you press control U you will see how we are sharing the information about privileges and roles on load. How we are doing this is that from a security point of view it is better to have the login as a separate GSP because we don't want users to be able to see all our JS files etc. So you'll see now that when I have logged out I should not be able to see my JSPs and things like that so over here I only show a simple login form now what we've done is that in our back end we have our security XML which defines what is viewable by who. So some of them are commit all, I mean some of them are permit all, so everybody can see them, even a non logged in person, and some things are protected by some roles which we call from the privilege table in our application. Also in the security XML you'll see that we have some custom handlers and if you go to any of them you'll see that we're basically setting up the user, setting up the JSONs, doing the login and cookie management when a person logs in. We have our own customer details service and then here in my example I've shown you with XML here in the Java class we've divided roles and privileges and we are getting all the authorities by adding all the privileges which belong to all the roles of the current user. So we are including our security XML here. 
is our regular scan for controllers now the interesting part in our registration controller we are setting a variable and setting it in root also and here we are doing a block so even if you type the URL directly I stop you from coming here and then to show and hide links we use it here in our header you can put a ng if on one privilege and depending on that this li will be shown or not to the current user so when I log in as administrator I can go to the registration page even if I open a new tab I can go the registration page but if I log out if I log in as patient I won't see the registration link and if I try to refresh this it will tell me that I am unauthorized even if I just change this link here it will send me back to the unauthorized link That's my logout. So this application is not completely done. We've just shown you how you can build it and how you can use the privileges in Angular to hide and show links at the web application level. We have our controllers which are blocked by regular Spring Security annotations with different privileges so that each part of the application can be controlled for a set of users by giving them different privileges in their role or roles. Thank you.